Now we're pretty close to the low of the day, down 344 points right now. Interest rates appear to be the problem, and this budget deal that's been agreed in the Senate will probably raise interest rates down the road. The market doesn't like that. We're down 345 as we speak. Now, President Trump's going to unveil the big $1.5 trillion infrastructure plan on Monday. And our next guest is head of a big construction company in New York. His name is Anthony Rinaldi, CEO of the Rinaldi Group. And he says the current state of infrastructure is bad for business. Give me an example. Well, I'll give you an example here in New York alone. Um, I'm a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers. And in uh, 2015, they did a study uh, of the infrastructure in New York State, which comprises New York City as well. Um, in New York State, there are 17,450 bridges, of which over 50 percent are 75 years or older. Well, is that, why is that bad for business if the bridges are still functioning? I mean, what's they're, ba they're barely functioning. So here's what happens. Your bridges start to go. Your roadways start to go. They're in dis, uh, disrepair. All of what we do, all right, we build buildings. I have products and deliveries of materials each and every day. If I can't get my materials and I can't get my workers to my job sites, my job sites, my jobs start to go longer and we don't get the job done when we but need to get it done. Does that actually happen? I mean, do you have <laughs> projects that are delayed because you can't get your workers there on time and you can't get deliveries on time? Is that actually happening? Ab absolutely. We, we constantly deal with uh, having to lay out our, our, uh, our uh, directions and roads that we're traveling uh, to get deliveries. For example, uh, one of the projects that we're doing, we were getting uh, products from Poland. Um, those were being delivered to the ports in Newark, okay, sizable, oversized loads. Those loads got to go through the highways, roadways, bridges, and make their way to the streets of New York City and get to our job site on time and on the budget to maintain the schedule and to maintain our budget with our clients. So if all of those means and methods of getting to our job sites are starting to deteriorate, so shall our projects. Okay. Last time you were on the show, you told us how much you've got to pay to licensed crane operators to get them to go to work. And I think you came in and said it was a half million dollars a year for a qualified crane operator to work in New York City. Half million? And I said to you, minimum. I said $400,000 minimum. I have a crane operator on a job that I just recently paid over a million dollars in a year. Okay. One million dollars. Okay, I'll take my breath uh, back. Wow. Listen to this. Um, Nancy Pelosi had this to say about the Trump uh, infrastructure plan this morning. Roll tape, please. Now, public-private <laughs> partnerships were receptive, too, but not when they're the goal of the bill is to transfer the taxpayer dollar to the private sector, ex rejecting a plan that truly invests. What a disappointment what the president put forth, I, I would just characterize it as something that privatizes our role, air, our roads, air traffic control, and essential infrastructure, creates more costly tolls for commuters, and shifts the burden onto cities and states' budget. Okay, mm. she doesn't like privatization. Do you? This is you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you? I, listen, I... I, I I live on it. <laughs> well, I think Ms. Pelosi was getting at the idea of build, you build a road with a public-private project and you, you toll road it. That's how you pay, you pay for it. Right. You've got a problem with that? Um, you know what? I, I think if, if they were to privatize uh, infrastructure, which they don't, I think you'd see a lot of changes. And I, see, I think you'd see a lot of projects come in on the budget and on time, which doesn't happen, at least in our metropolitan area. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah. Anthony, thanks for joining us. And yeah. can I be a crane operator? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,